Hey guys, this is Bob Creeper 12 here from uh, Metal Apocalypse Unit, and today we're gonna be I'm gonna be explaining to you guys about the Raven 3L build. Of course, this is the Raven 3LS, and let's get started. So, the best part of the Raven is that of the Raven 3L is that it's the three laser hardpoints with the two missile hardpoints, and it had AMS and ECM. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to have three small pulse lasers, because of, if you look at it, it has decent amount of cooldown and enough damage, so that's why you have three. You have three. And then you have two SRM2s. Um, this is a, a short range brawler type guy, but you do not want to face plan a Kodiak or a Dire Wolf. That's just what you do not want it to do so this one is this mech this build is mainly for getting the enemy to turn around and focus you while your team um, pushes and focuses fire on the enemy for, for get for you to get an easy win this mech does have narc perks um, but it's narc is not very good unless you have a unit you have a group drop with a bunch of people within your unit that have specific abilities to um, coordinate easier so um so i would go with the srms but if you have a a good group then go with narc and um i usually i run two srm2s with two tons of SRM ammo. It comes with 100 shots, so each one 200. And so basically you'll be doing 50 shots. Or, um, yeah. I'm not sure, but, um, can't do math. Um, then you have two two standard, uh, two double heat sinks with, uh, in each torso. And, um, and then a double heat sink in the engine. And you do run the max engine. You need the max engine to go fast, and that's an XL, XL engine 295. Um, for speed tweak, it uh, does give 146.7 kph with 97.7 uh, kph reverse, um, and it does have a heat mitigate, a heat management of one and 61 hundredths out of two. That is very good. Um, a tip that you always want to do is you want to get it over one and three, one and three tenths. You want to get over that, or at least at that. You do also want to run ferrofibrous um, double heat sinks and endo steel. It's just um, you're you're gonna be the one that's in the fights. You're gonna have to be focusing, being focused, and uh, just being in the, as annoying as possible. So. Um, do not run Artemis, it's not worth it, because you're only running two SRM2s and, and a NARC for, to replace the SRM2s, so it's not really worth it. Um, and you are you need a Guardian ECM, because that's why the Raven 3L is really good. Um, typically you do not want, you don't have to run an AMS, because uh, you want to be as stealthy as possible. Um, so that's the main build and with armor you want to max out all the armor you want to max out except for the left arm because uh uh it doesn't matter you at least want 18 armor that's just how it that's how i run it because of the slot of the arm of the the uh, tonnage it's not the left arm doesn't really matter i all usually i always get hit in the right side so um, the left arm is not that useful, basically your whole weapon side is on your right side. So um, let's move on to modules. I run radar depth, which is um, important to light mechs. 
typically. I do have small pulse laser cooldown um, at uh, max, so I would do small pulse laser cooldown, and then um, I would. I don't have enough C bills to get um, uh, SRM two range, but get SRM two range uh, module, and then if you really need to. Um, can the second mech module's uh, personal preference? I go for sensor range boost because I need to have an easier way. When I'm running by myself, you kind of need the extra sensor range. But you could also do the um, the I think speed retention, which uh, if you're legged, you can go 25 or 30 percent faster when you're legged. So that's also really useful. Um. But it it really doesn't matter because uh, speed retention it all it works really well with medium and heavies in my opinion because if you're a light and you get legged there's only small situations like very small chances you'll survive because if you're legged you're usually going to be focused because it's an easy kill. Um, then I run airstrike or UAV. Um, if you, you don't have to run airstrike, you can run a uh, uh, artillery strike that's per perfectly up to you um, perfectly fine and that's pretty much it uh, remember this one these two um, perfectly up to you. you could run SRM cooldown but this mech already has SRM cooldown or missile cooldown perks so um, it really I would go with the SRM range SRM 2 range to be exact um, let's go through the quirks of this mech. Um, it has, like I said, it has narc beacon range, um, 100, and narc beacon duration, um, uh, plus 15. Oh, and I uh, apologize. Uh, missile, it only has missile range, plus 10%, and missile velocity, 10%. So it's perfectly up to you. If you want more cooldown, um, it's uh, fine, or range, really doesn't matter. Um, it's perfectly up to you, it's your personal pre preference. Um, also for the laser cooldown and or laser range, doesn't matter. But you really need radar depth and either um, whatever second mech module that you feel fits the best. And um, I'm gonna show you how it's played, how you want to be playing it.
hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more. And as you can see, I did 724 damage overall. And this is really how you're supposed to play a light mech. You're supposed to be as annoying as possible and doing as much damage as you can. And just simply helping your teammates give you the win. So um, this is the Raven build for the Raven 3L. I hope you enjoy, and Bob Creeper 12 will see you in the next video.